Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Cur uh, City Lights and Clouds mod, I believe it's called. I will link the file location in the description so you guys can download it if you want. And what it basically does is it makes all the atmosphere planets look just a little nicer. It makes them look like they actually have atmospheres, complete with clouds and weather patterns and all that goodness. And, uh,. So here we are. I think what we'll do is I'm going to start like a little series, like a mini series of uh, going to Jewel, sending a, a manned mission to Jewel, landing a crew on Lathe, and getting them back home again safely. It's, it's a bit ambitious, but uh, I think we can do it. So let's go into our save game of Dompy and begin constructing on construct lander ship that can dock and redock with our main ship, and uh, and then we'll have like a main tug that brings us out to Jewel. So, let's see, what I think I'll do first is work on the main tug ship. So, I kinda liked this pod, the uh, windowed one, and so I'm gonna use it again. I really liked it. So, let's go ahead and, like I said, I should probably attach some kind of um, SAS on it first. So, let's do that. It's always important to have your sass. <laughs> um, now this thing only holds one crew, so that's not what we want. We want to have extra crew capacity. So this look, this kind of looks like our space station at the moment, but it's gonna it's gonna change. Um, plus, I always thought it'd be neat to have like if, like if I imagined a, a ship going to Jewel, it would have like a habitation module, you know, so they could hang out, and stretch their legs, and not go insane and want to kill each other. <laughs> So we'll have something like that for them to hang out. Even though it's not really that big, we can just pretend that it's like super big in there. All right, and I think like down here is where we'll probably like attach the uh, lander craft via a clampatron docking port. So we'll do something like that, and uh, like I guess I should attach. Let's see some batteries. We'll throw on the. Uh, big guy here. And before I forget, let's do a little Kerbal engineering system. We'll slap that on the back right there just so we can see how we're doing. Uh, thrust weight ratio and all that stuff. Engines, let's see, what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, where are we? Attaching a couple like radial mounts on the side. Something like this with the nuclear engines on the bottom, of course. You're going to want them nuclear engines if you're going interplanetary because they get the best, um, the best delta V, actually. So let's not forget we want some pipes so that um, basically we use. Actually, let me think about that for a sec. No, no, no. We want it going the other way, don't we? Yes, we want it going from here out to here. This way it'll drain this tank first and we can then use that fuel like that. I think that makes sense. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's see. We should put some RCS on there. So we'll throw an RCS tank like that. And we'll put the RCS thrusters on here, like so. There we are. Alright, let's get some photovoltaics. One by six. And we'll just pop them on there like that. Cool. Um, let's see, now... For re-entry, we can't just have that thing coming in at the top because there's only room for one and we'd be abandoning people in space, so I think let's put it let's put a thing thing right here. So that uh, that'll disconnect and it'll just be the top portion coming in <laughs> coming in for a landing. So we should also throw in some parachutes. Two 
ought to do it. Hopefully. Um, I said I don't want to put one up there just because it would look ugly from inside. I think two. Sh well, I don't know. Should is two enough? Is that gonna be enough? I don't know. We'll t <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if it's not enough, uh, oops. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm so like cavalier about these things. So we'll just attach some struts just to make sure everything's okay. So we've got a total of 5,000 delta V. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, does it? I wonder if I did these pipes right. Let me just think about that for a second because um, I want to use the fuel yeah, in the center tank first because then, then we want to have the two outside tanks left over. And I think that should be plenty of fuel to get the jewel and back because we're going to use like the um, the lift stage or whatever's left over from the lift stage to g help get us out there. So it should be plenty. Should be is the keyword. Um, so let's go ahead and attach kind of looks funny, but that's how it's going to have to be. <laughs> so we'll go like this and we'll grab an extra little bonus fuel at the bottom. No, not the skipper, we want the mainsail. Yeah. Love the mainsail. So I'll come in here and we'll just attach these in here like this even though it doesn't look like it's doing anything, it really is. And... Jeez, I hope that's low enough. We'll see. I'm gonna do asparagus style here. Yeah, I think that should be alright. It'll be a little low, but... That's eh, alright. Actually, is that... That doesn't look right. There we are, it looks a little bit better. Okay. So next we'll come over here and attach some pipes. Going from in here, we're gonna feed the fuel into the center tanks. And we'll grab some struts too, while we're at it. Yeah, might as well strut down here too. More struts, the better. And just for the hell of it, let's just go over here and attach some solid fuel boosters. Love these things. We'll attach them over here. And we'll attach them over here at the bottom too. Can never have too many of these things. Alright. Next we'll attach some of these launch stability clamps so that when we launch it'll be nice and stable. Okay, and let's make sure... Oh, you know what we need too? We need these Sepatrons. Good old Sepatron engine. Something like that. Oops, didn't like it. There we are a little better. Okay, let's check our staging, so we want the main engines firing with the clampers, with also the just the solid fuel boosters, these guys right here. Yep. Alright, next that's going to happen is this is booster is going to separate, so we'll move those down there. And then these sepatrons will separate with this one. So we'll just make it like that. Then this thing will finally detach, and then leaving us with the two engines there. And we want the final stage to be these parachutes. 
We really don't want to ever jettison these rockets till the very end. <clears throat> just because we don't have any main propulsion on the ship itself, which I'm wondering if that's a mistake. But, you know, I, I think it'll be... I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. So let's keep adding to this uh, thing here. So we'll go like this and we'll get our next asparagus which is right about there. Okay, and we'll just adjust the pipes so that these tanks now feed into these tanks here. And then we also need to make sure it's properly staged. So these ones will go down here first. There. So we just do that once more. Alt click it. Make sure it's nice and even with the other ones. Slot that right into place and that tank pipe goes sort of like that. And we need one more stage, the final stage. It's this one right here. See, so we're going for the full six asparagus. Not sure if I've ever done this in a video for you guys, but if you're wondering how to do it, that's it right there. That is the full six asparagus. So what I always like to do here is go from this tank to this tank with struts. And at the bottom too. Because sometimes it's, the ship likes to torque around. And one more. Wow, that's a lot of struts. So let's name this thing the uh, Jewel Explorer. The Jewel Explorer. And I'm just thinking we should probably attach some struts from like here to here. Just for some added stability. This one we can't really do because the engine's in the way, but that should be fine. Let's see, so let's just double check everything. We've got our parachutes, we've got our RCS fuel with RCS thrusters, and you know we should probably just add an extra set of RCS thrusters down here too. Make sure it's in line, and it's not in line at all. <laughs> I think that's it. Yes, except that I only put two. There we are. And you know what we should do? We should put some fins. Just because it makes the whole thing eh, much more stable. Okay, I'm just thinking if I forgot anything. Let me just double check the staging. All these things fire with all the engines, including the middle one. Yep. The outer boosters separate. These tanks, these tanks, these tanks, that one, that one, then these fire. Finally, when we're re entering, uh, this will disconnect, leaving this upper section to float into the atmosphere. Hopefully, float. <laughs> Hopefully it'll flow into the atmosphere and not come screaming in there when the parachutes fail. <laughs> you know, I'm just wondering... I think I'm just going to attach an extra set of parachutes to this. Maybe going the other way. Well, does that block the door? I don't like the way that looks. Put them up here like that. Hopefully that won't like flip the whole craft around and do horrible things. <laughs> okay. So we can attach the lander over here like that. I think that's it. I think that's our ship. Let's uh let's launch this thing get this thing. Oh, you know what we should do? Action groups. 
almost forgot, so custom one will be our panels. Toggle those panels. And let's pick the crew. Who's gonna drive it? No, let's get someone pretty pretty courageous. So Jedfield Kerman will pilot and he'll have with him Aldgon and Ron Wise, just to keep him company, you know. Couple couple guys in there on the crew. Just, I feel like I'm always feel like I'm forgetting something right before launch. But I, I think we're good. I think we're solid, so let's do it. Let's launch this thing. Oh, that likes to bounce around. I don't know if it's going to like that, actually. Right in there, it didn't like it at all. Hmm. You know what I might do, too? I forgot to check what the correct phase angle is for Jewel. Silly of me. So I might just pause it for a second. Check All that right, I've right got there. the correct phase angle, so I'm just going to set that up right now. Um, where am I? What am I doing? Whoa, okay, so... Oh, did I put the wrong... I did. I put the wrong thing on it. Dang it. Hold on, guys. I this is what I messed up. I put the wrong engineer. I need the engineering system and the flight thingy. <laughs> and it probably messed my crew up. Yep, it always does that. It always screws the crew up. So Jedfeld, was it Ron Wise, and Algen, right? Yes, something like that. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'm not sure why it takes so darn long to load. Okay, here we are. So we wanna, man, I'm just worried about that joint right there. Let's see, let's see if it works out. So we are at 61 phase angle. We actually want 96. So let's speed up time a little bit. I think basically you're gonna want Jewel to be straight like at 12 o'clock when Kerbin's at 3, so we're actually pretty far off. So, I'm getting, I'm just going to pause it until it comes into All phase. Alright, we're getting close now. We want 96.58 roughly. I'm going to leave it right there just because it's going to take a little extra time to um, to get the other ship in orbit, etc, etc. Um, also, just might wait till it's morning because I don't like night launches. You guys probably can't see anything. Oh, look at the clouds. This is another pretty thing about this mod. It's so darn pretty. And of course, by time warping, I have now just <laughs> moved the phase angle a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, let's see if this thing gets off the ground in one piece. Here we go. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> oh god, after all that... <laughs> oh god, let me see. Oh, that's all. It, it won't let me shift to anything else. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that was a catastrophic failure, everybody. Um, let's... We gotta, we gotta fix that. <laughs> we gotta fix that. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what we gotta do here. It's this joint right here that it just... It doesn't like it, so I'm gonna try strutting. Let's see if it'll do it from like here down to here. Yeah, alright. Seemed to like it. You know, I might put more. I might do like, try to do as many as I can. Yes. No, I didn't like some of them. Yeah, it only wants to do four. Let me see if I'll do six. Yeah, all right, there we go. Okay, 
so we gotta do the crew again. <laughs> I hope they fix that. Jadfeld, Ron Wise, all again. Go! I that. Once it decides to come in, okay, here we are. Let me just double check. Yep, the phase angle is back to where it was. So we'll All right, and we're back, and we've got the correct phase, just about. It's 97.9, but uh, once we launch the other ship, the um, the lander ship and dock and all that, by the time we do all that stuff, it's going to probably be the correct um, thing phase. So let's do this one more time in three, two, one. Oh, that's a little better. See what struts do? It's amazing. Ooh, I'm going to throttle right down. Throttle right down to about two thirds thrust. Here we go. And we're getting up pretty fast. I'm just going to throttle down a little bit more. So our, one of our tanks is out, but we're going to wait until the uh, boosters jettison first before we ditch them. And it's good. We're just letting the boosters do all the work. We're saving on our fuel here by having them throttled down. And we have so many of them. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. All right, we're coming up on booster separation. There they go. And we can also let these guys go. Cool. That's so cool when that happens. So I'll just get it to about like a G of acceleration here. It's not a bad launch so far. Everything's going pretty well. All right, we're at right about the 10 kilometer mark, so we are going to start pitching the ship this way. It's going to start rolling a little bit, but that's okay. There goes another tank. So I'm just going to roll the craft. I always like doing this. Just kind of roll it on its side like that. Just for, because it just looks better to me when we do it that way. Also, going to boost us back up a little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Stay normal. Zoom all the way back in. So we can, we can start pitching like crazy. We're getting a lot of uh, vertical speed, a lot of vertical height. Come on, stay this way. Come on, there we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. Picking up that horizontal speed now. Trying to wrap ourselves around the planet. Wow, yeah, we are really getting there. It's about half the speed we need now. All right, so this engines are out. Let them go. Thrust weight ratio right now is 1.4. It's very healthy. We are getting up there. Now look, Dompy SSTO. <laughs> Someday we'll do something with the old Dompy. So we'll just keep pushing this thing sideways. Picking up more of that horizontal speed. You see our apoapsis up here. That's why I love putting this uh, flight engineer mod on. See all that data. Gonna push it pretty much right to the horizon now because we are so close to 100. And there we are. 
We've now gained enough speed to just coast all the way up to Apoapsis, which we will now put a maneuver and pull this out like this until we get our orbit. If you guys notice, uh, you can actually see my mouse now on screen because I actually got a legitimate uh, recording software. I managed to pick up a uh, Bandicam, which is just a little bit better than the free one I was using before. I mean, don't get me wrong, the free one was fine. I just, it really bugged me that I didn't have a mouse. I like to point things out to you guys, so it, it works better for me. <laughs> Alright, so we are now above the atmosphere, and I'm just going to turn this bad boy up towards the little blue reticle, maneuver node reticle. And we're just going to speed up to our maneuver node. Just coming up very quickly. We'll we'll burn it like ten seconds. That should give us enough velocity to get ourselves around this big old planet. Here we go. Full throttle, full bore. I like to make sound effects. <laughs> Doesn't Kerbin look so much prettier with the clouds? It just it looks so good that way. And there we have it. So we have a 100 by 104 orbit. That's fine. I managed to uh, <laughs> move the camera over. Oh well. So this is the craft that's going to take us to Jewel. Um. Oh, you know what I just realized? I realized a big error. Um, our docking port's down here, so we can't actually use this tank to take us to Jewel, which is, oh, such a shame. Which makes this a little trickier, because now we have enough fuel to make all the burns with these engines. I was kind of counting on that fuel to push us. I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching, everybody.